Hiya folks, welcome back to a very damp channel. I'm really disappointed at the moment. All week, where I've come to, all week. Sunny, a little bit of maybe a little bit of light rain. I'm down in West Sussex and it's absolutely pouring it down. So it's been a bit of a wasted journey, to be honest. So I'm a little bit disappointed because place I've always wanted to come and see, um, which is over there and the Ooze Valley Viaduct. So I can't even walk into the field. Um, not with the camera and everything. But yeah, Ooze Valley Di Vi Viaduct. I mean, a fantastic piece of uh, Victorian engineering. Completed in, uh, I think, 1841. On the London to Brighton line. Oh, it's a bit of bright. I'm going to hang on a bit. I'm going to hang on a bit because I really would like to go and visit it. There's a little bit of bright sky coming out. I know it's rain. It's it's England, you know. It's really warm today as well. Um, coming into November and it's really like 19, 20 degrees Celsius. So it's easing off a little. We'll see. I'm going to hang on here a second. We'll see how it gets, gets on. We might be able to go and visit. getting a bit brighter it's getting a bit brighter unlike the picture here I'm very dark in this picture because um, yeah. oh what an awful day but the rain stopped pretty much so I'm gonna have a quick look but the footpath is blocked by um, construction. So it's a double whammy, we can't get in to see it. Okay, so we've got to go down there. I mean, what a miraculous piece of Victorian engineering. Oh, there's a nice echo coming through. Isn't it absolutely incredible? I reckon about 11 million bricks, red bricks were used to construct the viaduct, which came from the Netherlands and Europe, and along with limestone. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Yeah, you can hear the echo. Fantastic. That's really impressive. Absolutely incredible. There you go. I'm sorry, it's a very quick visit to the uh, to the viaduct because the weather's so crap. All well, that's sort of straining and stopping, raining and stopping. But obviously I want to protect the camera. So um, yeah, we'll head back to the car. And what I'll do, we'll go back into Balcombe and we'll go pop into St Mary's Church there. But yeah, incredible. Ah! I'm just in Mill Lane, and the reason I brought you here, there is a 15th century cottage over there, which some of you may recognise from the 1981 TV adaption of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. In the first episode, it was Arthur Dent's house. Um, and they shot here in May 1980. Yeah, that is a cottage from that belonged to Arthur Dent in uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I just spoke to the nice lady there who lives there. I said, sorry because of the dogs. I said, sorry for disturbing your dogs. I said, Arthur Dent's cottage, and she laughed. She got she got it, so she was fine with it. Um, Kevin John Davis, my friend Kevin, you would have filmed here when you did your documentary on the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, many, many, oh, when was that, in the 90s? But yeah, so yeah, we've done it. Arthur Dent's cottage. Um, we're now going to go to St Mary's Church. Let's go on. Now it's stopped raining, thankfully. So I was in a bad mood when I got here. All this way and it just wouldn't stop. Um, that's the nature of filming. Mm -hmm. 
So this is St Mary's Church, right by the London Rose, there's a lot of traffic going past. And there's been a church on this site since sort of before 1090. But this is generally 13th century, 13th century and a 15th century uh, tower. Really nice. It's grade one listed. It's mainly a lot of uh, Victorian renovation done. There's a lot of Victorian work done on this. Those pesky Victorians. Well, I say that in the past, but if the Victorians hadn't done the renovations on these churches, would they have fallen into disrepair? Would they have collapsed? Who knows? Um, but if you do know any more information about that, do let me know, because I'd like to know that. The roof of the church, Horsham Stone. Lovely church. Just saw the vicar outside with some people, with some very arist aristocratic voices. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's very Victorian, this very Victorian. Just want to pop my head in, have a quick look. Parish of St Mary Balkan, Roll of the Baptised. Lovely chanting going on, can you hear it? It's fantastic. Quick look around the back. So it's a very, very vast churchyard. Oh, that's a nice cool window. Like that. It's very nice. So there you go. A bit short video of this because of the weather. Um, the viaduct, which was fascinating. I will go back there when it's a bit brighter because I really like to have a, look, a proper look at that and look at the, um, the whole structure. And here are St Mary's Church in Balcombe. Is it Balcombe or Balcombe? People get very upset if you mispronounce their town's or village's name. Um, I'm saying it's Balcombe. But yeah, being very nice. Half past 11. I've come all this way, I wish the weather was going to be what it said it was going to be, but hey. But anyway, if you found any merit in this video whatsoever, please like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.